Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mickey Sticky Flowers here. Uh, I got something to tell you guys. I'm on a yacht. I'm chilling and everything. Now, no, this is not an RP video, but I gotta tell you guys something. So, I, I, I messed up last time. Dinky messed up last time. The guy in the sky that uh, should have been recording this, but the guy in the sky wasn't recording it because he didn't expect for what to happen to go down. He thought that something else was gonna go down, and what was gonna happen, thought that was gonna go down. Now, I thought that was gonna go down, but it didn't go down, you know. But I thought that was gonna go down was well, my buddy somehow magically when he wasn't even on the server for about a week. Got a, got a warrant for his arrest. Now, I've been told out of RP many times by a few cops that they trump us only these two characters that would charge you sometimes and, and, plant, and try to plant drugs or something on us because they think it's funny. And, I, and to be honest with you, I told one of the guys that I think it's funny too and I'm going to keep on playing if you keep doing it because I think it's funny, man. Like you guys are saying I got drugs. I'm like, what are you talking about? You guys are me. I don't got no fucking drugs. And then they got the drugs and they're like, oh yeah, what's this? And then, and, then it, it, and then we try to run or something and whatnot. These characters are always characters that are always going to be in the trouble, be in low lives, always do drugs and not, not want to listen to the cops when they tell myself Hey, don't be friends with Dickie, or they tell Dickie, hey, don't be friends with Mickey. Like, no, we're always going to be friends. We've been there from day one, and we're, we're bros, man. We're not going to do that. But basically, I didn't think the guy in the sky to be recording, and, well, apparently, I thought he was just going to get arrested for that BS warrant. I, I got the number of the cop that wanted to talk to him because he, he he's really close to me in the sense of always arresting me and he just knows me very well because I'm always getting trumped up charges and going to jail and getting, well, sometimes, most of the time, it's by him. And it's like, man, this guy's always around. Every time when something bad goes, he, he just shows up. It, it could be out of the blue, like... All of a sudden, they're like, oh, yeah, well, on the radio, probably, like, yeah, we got this guy named Mickey Sticky Flowers and Dicky Cheese here, and then probably he hears it and shows up. Oh, yeah, well, what's up, guys? Yeah, well, you remember me? Yeah, well, what you got? Well, Mickey, 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 what you doing, Mickey? Dicky, come on, man. Like, yeah, fuck you, Bites. Like, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, you Bites, you fucking asshole. Trying to trump us up charges, take us to jail and whatnot. You ain't gonna take us to jail, because guess what? You tried to take him to jail, but you didn't. You let him off and everything. He told you everything. You let him go and everything. But guess what? Then you guys tried jumping over some more charges and whatnot. We, we didn't take that. Like, nah, we didn't take any of that. So basically, my buddy tried going to the weed shop. I was going to buy something, but I didn't. I should have got something, but I didn't. And the reason why, because I knew as soon as we would have bought something, or I would have grabbed something, they would have trumped me up with charges, and whoop, my buddy bought something, what they do, trump up with charges. He had the receipt, although they said that it was stolen, apparently, but bullshit. Definitely bullshit. But he said that he had the receipt, they didn't want to check for a while, then they finally check, and whatnot. Well, then, I just take his van and leave, because basically, he told me I could take his van, so I took his van, and then... Apparently, from he calls me and everything, and says now they're looking for me. I'm like, why? They're like, because he took my van. I'm like, you told me I could take your van. And they're like, well, apparently you weren't allowed to take it because they had some investigation. I'm like, what are you talking about investigation? No, you told me I could take it. It's bullshit. They're just trying to trump us up charges. I'm gonna hide your van, bro. So I basically went like a block away, hit his van, ran back. I basically took a bike. They didn't see me like the first times. I found a bike on the boardwalk of his Gucci. I rode up and down a few times. After riding up and down a few times, then basically afterwards I was like, okay, uh, okay, what am I going to do now? Uh, they don't see me, so I, I went to the alleyways. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try to make it back in my buddy's house, which the guy's house that we're at, that's Marcus. He just wasn't home at the time, so we basically went inside. I basically tried going back inside his house, but they must have saw me. They tried coming after me. But then guess what? They're dumb. They didn't have Dicky locked up in handcuffs. They didn't have Dicky put in the back of a car. They wanted to arrest Dicky, but then they come chasing me. So they chase me, and then all of a sudden, they take me out of the house and everything, and they try to trump me up, asking where the van's at. They're like, where's Dicky? I'm like, I don't know. Didn't you have my handcuffs or locked up in the back of a car? And then they're like, oh, yep. Yeah. We fucked up. 
and then someone's gonna get in trouble in the forest or whatever. So uh, he said something like that, and I, I don't know. I don't I don't speak that cop lingo or whatnot, fucking pigs. But yeah, and then literally like they were gonna try to trip me up, ask where the van was, but then apparently they just let me go and she was trying to find Diggy. So I knew exactly where the van was. I got the van, I drove off, I tarped it up, I paid some guy twenty dollars, and he, it was his property. He said I can keep it there until I'm going out of town, even though I'm really want it. And got a warrant up for my arrest now, along with Dickie, but he didn't know that. But he let me put the van there. I told him I'll be back in like a few weeks. He said, hey, take your time, man. As long as it's not here over a month. I said, nah, you, you, don't worry. We'll get it before the month's over. Don't worry. I was like, but I just, I'll be all right. I'll be back, all right? And he's like, all right. Have fun out of town. I'm like, all right, man. And then basically, so I know where his car's at and everything. So, but we're back. We're here chilling and whatnot in this, uh, uh, yeah, hot tub now. We was at a uh, little mountain house, although Dickie is still there because we were leaving. But then some girl came in and said she want the. Uh, she said I'm here for the twelve, the twelve o'clock special. I'm like what? What, what are you? What, uh -huh. what, 12, what, what are you talking about, lady? Twelve, 12 o'clock special? Well, no, I don't know nothing about that. Well, I'm, huh? I didn't order no twelve o'clock special, man. I'm like, are you in drugs? Like. But Joe was like, and then Diggy's like, uh, yeah, uh, and I'm on drugs, <laughs> but yeah, I ordered that. I'm like, you did? He's like, he's like, yeah, man, me and her. But I'm like, oh. So then I just basically said, all right, well, um, all right, well, I guess I'll see you on the yacht. Marcus was like, I'll be back later to pick you up tonight. He was like, she better be gone. He was like, I don't want no one in my fucking cabin, man. And he's like, all right, man, uh, it's only going to be a few hours. By the time you drop him off and come back, we'll probably be done. I'm like, all right. He's like, all right. So, yeah, I'm here on this yacht and everything, ladies and gentlemen. And I was sitting here on my phone earlier. I called Deputy Bites. I was like, hey, what's up, Bites? I'm like, fucking asshole. I'm out here partying. And literally earlier on uh, yesterday, there was a lot of guys. It's too early right now. They're probably all sleeping, but... Early break gets just the worm. I like to get drunk and fucked up with all the drugs and everything early on. Why not? It's free. And so uh, I'm up, but yeah, I was sending them pictures. I was like, yeah, you see this? And I was like, see all these sexy, beautiful women? See all these other guys? We're all partying. We're all chillaxing. Guess what? I ain't going back. I was like, you ain't going to take me back and having a good time, bites. So I'm like, uh, I'll see you in the future, maybe. Or maybe I won't come back at all because I'm having so much of a good time, man. And yeah, so I'm on this yacht, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm about to move the camera. It may glitch a little with the water movement, as you see right there. It has something to do with MVE and whatnot. But, um, yeah. Uh, I, was, I was trying to get a better view of uh, all this water and everything around here. It's just a certain angle it does that. I don't know why. I was told it's something to do with the server and one of the mods was clashing and whatnot. But yeah, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, so, yeah, uh, I'm on a yacht. Uh, I want it. I got a warrant. Dickie's want it. He's got a warrant. They ain't gonna find us. Bites. You ain't gonna find us, man. Having a good time. My, my bros having a good time up in that cabin. He's gonna meet me down here later at the yacht. And we're gonna have a good time smoking, drinking eating. Heck, there's lots of women out here. Who knows? There, there may be some time in the bed, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the future. Mickey Sticky Flowers is gonna come back. I got this nice blunt in my mouth. I'm smoking it. I'm getting fucked up and getting high, ladies and gentlemen. But, yeah, other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed this little episode of what is going on with Mickey Sticky Flowers. He will be back pretty soon, ladies and gentlemen, but I gotta figure out what am I gonna do. I know that Marcus said he knows a guy that could try to change me up a little and give me a different idea and whatnot. And I told Dickie he might have to do the same thing, although Marcus took me. I don't know. D D Dickie, I mean, I don't know. It'd be hard to cover him up. I mean, the best thing to do with him is put a hat, hoodie on. I'm like, yeah, just like me, although... You got a great beard, so giving you this fake beard, he was like, it makes you look different. And you'll see what I'm talking about in the future, because I plan to bring on a disguised look. And I'm going to try my hardest, no matter how many times my brother Dickie says it may not work. I'm going to try. Just because there's someone else out there that's got the same voice, 
you can't trap me with charges. And the idea that Marcus is going to give me looks kind of similar to the guy that I'm going to be disguising as. So they want to sit there and duck bullshit on it. But you know, the, I'm giving you an ID. Look at that ID. What does the picture look like? It's going to look exactly similar to me. The only way they could physically fully find out if they use their force of power and abuse it and make me take off my hat, make me take off my hoodie, then they'll realize once I take off the hat, then my white hair is going to fall down because I, I got an RP where it's hidden up in the hat and I shoved it all in there and I got it tied up and whatnot. So then basically, if they did that, then they would realize, okay, it's Mickey. But until the, and if, if they did that, that's, a, that's abuse of power. I, I most likely will just drive away and try to get away. But, I mean, nine times out of ten, I'm going to tell them, like, yeah, it's, it's sorry to say that that guy looks like you. It, it's really It really sucks, man. I know you're trying to find this guy. I know I sound like this guy. I'll be on the lookout for him. As you see, I gave you my ID. That's what I look like. I'm sorry I sound like this guy. It sucks that you can't find him. You guys are supposed to be some really good cops. I respect you guys. And whatnot. But you guys can't find him. So, I mean, now that I got his picture and whatnot, and you described him to me, I'll be on the lookout for him. As soon as I see him, I'll call 911. And if I got to, I'll follow him. I won't do anything, but I'll follow him. I'll let him know. Even though, in, out of RP, I really would be Mickey, but they can't really know that. It would, be, it would be really, really hard for them to say, hey, especially when I'm giving them a fake ID and I'm wearing shit that's similar to what's on that ID that's someone else. Although, I may kind of if you really 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 pay attention to what the id will show you in that picture you might be able to but you gotta really focus i made sure that out of rp when i was setting all this up to make it really really hard for bites ladies and gentlemen i really want to make so when when this does happen in the character i set this up with where i changed them and kind of made me and him look like and whatnot i was like I gotta do this. I gotta do this. So, I'm gonna eat my sandwich. Got the munchies. Stand up and whatnot. But as you see, yeah, this is just an NV, NVE water texture. I don't know why it does that. It has something to do with, uh, it has something to do with, like, the texture of, uh, the, uh, water and something that my server put in. But other than that, everything looks amazing. And normally I'm not in the water, so, yeah, but... Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed watching this little What's Going On with Mickey and Dickie here in LARP. We'll be coming back as soon as we can, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know when we will, but we'll be coming back as soon as we can. And we'll try to do something. I got a little disguise worked up, and I'm going to see if it works. But we'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time. You'll see some other characters come before we come back. But until next time, I'm going to live large. And I'm going to smoke me some dope. I'm going to eat me some food because I got the munchies. And I'm going to go do some blow. I'm going to maybe go find me a girl and take her down and get me some. Because, yeah, guess what? I don't care what's going on out in the world, world anymore. No one. I don't care about my son, my wife, anyone right now because I'm wanted, got a warrant, I don't care about what's going on, I just care about what's going on here and that's me having a good time not worrying about anything. So until then ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys next time when I return in the future here to give you some more Mickey with his buddy Dicky for Mickey Sticky Flowers and Dicky Cheese. The Stoner Brothers RP.